Hello everyone, Bond Callum here with Bond's Aquarium. Today's video is about how you can grow your plants to be very large and healthy without using CO2 or any fertilizer. This video is going to be a little shorter than my normal videos because, well, really it's a lot easier than you'd think. Number one, you want to vacuum your fish tank and change the water about once a month instead of weekly. What this does is it leaves nutrients from the fish waste in the water and acts as a fertilizer of sorts. Now doing this, you definitely want to test the water a lot more frequently than you would normally do to make sure that there's no ammonia spikes and that your nitrates and nitrites are in check. There's a pretty good chance that you'll have to start off with changing it every two weeks and then go up to three weeks and then to a month, but after a couple months you should only have to change it once a month or so. Number two, and I think this one is the most important one, you want to have two to five watts of lights per gallon in your aquarium. And by that what I mean is multiply the two to five by the amount of gallons that you have in your fish tank. So for example, with my 65 gallon fish tank, I would want 130 to 325 watts of light. In my specific fish tank, I'm running 200 watts, 50 per bulb. What a lot of people don't understand about this is that's equivalent watts, not actual watts. So if you have an incandescent bulb, then yes, it's actual watts. But if you're using compact fluorescent or LEDs, you want to look at the equivalent watts and not the actual power draw. And especially for large fish tanks like this, I would suggest getting LED or compact fluorescent lights. It'll end up saving you a lot of money on your electrical bill in the long run. Usually compact fluorescent bulbs and LED bulbs will have a actual power draw and a equivalent power draw. Now the equivalent power draw is usually like 50, 100, 150, but the actual power draw should be like 5 to 20 watts. And the third and final tip that I have for this video is, if you have large and small plants like I have, you want to trim the leaves off the taller plants so that the smaller plants can get light as well. This is very critical and I've had several plants die because of failure to trim the plants. Plus it just makes your fish tank look nicer anyway. And that's really all it takes to grow healthy plants very quickly. This is the method that I've been using for the last year and a half. And I got all these plants back here from a little snipping, probably about, I don't know, a couple inches tall. And a little clipping of another plant that I have sitting down here at the bottom, if you can see that. Be sure to like this video if it helped you out. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fish tips and just other fish related videos. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and I will see you guys in the next video.